Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards and this is Be Still and Know, a precious opportunity for us to take time out to listen to the Bible and to hear what God has to say to us. Genesis chapter 11 verse 4. Then they said, Come, let's build a great city for ourselves with a tower that reaches into the sky. This will make us famous and keep us from being scattered all over the world. God hates arrogance because it's a complete rejection of him. Here, the story of the Tower of Babel could be described as an ultimate example of arrogance. The people came together to build a tower that would reach up to the heavens. This would be the final proof that humankind was in control. God acted decisively. He scattered the people. And as a result, people no longer spoke one language, but many. Division was the inevitable result of men and women putting themselves in the place that is rightfully God's. These early chapters of Genesis are amazing because although they describe an ancient world, they offer a powerful commentary on life today. As humankind grows in self-confidence and believes that it's in total control, division is the inevitable result. Having largely forced God out of the equation, The world is in a constant state of brokenness and despair. It's only when we acknowledge God as Lord of all that we see ourselves and our world in a true perspective. The constant challenge for us is to centre our thinking on God. In Acts chapter 2, we read about the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost, a day which saw the reversal of the Tower of Babel. The arrogant self-confidence of the tower builders led to the scattering of people and a confusion of languages. But when the Holy Spirit was poured out, suddenly everyone was able to understand one another. Unity was restored. There was one common language of worship. Even today, we will be given a choice as to whether to build our own arrogant towers or open ourselves to God's Spirit. Let's learn the lesson of the Tower of Babel. Let's pray together. Thank you, Lord, that you meet us in our divided world and show us in the power of your spirit how to find unity. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a great day and will join me for Be Still and Know every weekday here on Premiere.